My name is Corey. I'm from North Carolina. I'm 32 years old. I'm here today to get what's under my hat taken care of. What is under your hat? Uh, I'm not going to tell you until I see Dr. Lee, or show you until I see Dr. Lee. Why not? Just because it's an embarrassment, and I'd rather her see it, and that way we can just get it all taken care of. Under my hat, there's a, it's like a smushy bump, and it gets red, annoying. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, thank you. Are you here to see Dr. Lee? Yeah, I have an appointment today. I've had it since uh, about sixth, seventh grade, about 15, 16 years, I would say. And it just kept growing, 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 and then people just kept staring and looking more and more and more. I had a doctor write me a note so I would be able to wear a hat in school so people wouldn't stare and always make jokes about it. I would love to not wear a hat all the time. I actually was looking up online how you could remove a cyst, and I hit it with a book because they said if you have one on your wrist, then you could hit it with a book, which that did not work. That just gave me a really bad headache. So now it's time for a real professional to see what they can do with it. Come on over. We're going to head down to our consult room to see Dr. Lee here. OK. And when I'm at work, it really bothers me. I uh, work as HVAC installer. We go to uh, upper class clientele. A lot of people call my boss and they're like, why does he have this big old thing on his head? I've also had people tell me to leave their house and not come back because of the bump. If Dr. Lee can't take care of me or remove what's under the hat, then I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't. Hi, are you hey. Corey? Yes, I am. Hi, how are how you? How are you? Good. Nice how are to you? meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for hanging out with me outside for a little bit. Definitely. I'm Sandra, Dr. Lee. Nice to meet you. I'm going to take my mask off. You're okay. welcome to, too. Up to okay. you. Um, welcome. Where'd you come in from? Uh, North Carolina. OK. Mm -hmm. Well, you look pretty good, like nothing's really going on here. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I've met you yet, so what's going on? I'm a little shy to show Dr. Lee, just because I don't really show anybody. The only people that see it is my wife, my kids. I really don't want to even show Dr. Lee today what's under the hat. I'm here with Corey, who's really hesitant to show me his bump. A lot of patients feel so much shame, even with me. I can't imagine what it's like for them in public. So I don't really like showing people what's under my hat, but uh, this is what it is, is a bump. OK. So you hide it pretty well. Yes, in yes. Other words. I okay. try to. That's why it's so red, I feel like, because yes. you have a, something on it at all times. I mean, you're really trying, trying to, to squash it. that mm -hmm. you know, as I've best you can. Hitting it before we like a book. I've heard people treating a ganglion cyst, a cyst on your wrist, with some big book, but I don't think that's a good idea in this area because you could really get a concussion. And really, I would be concerned that any kind of trauma to this area could cause more problems in the long run, like scarring. Take a look at this. Has it always been like, it's a little soft on the top? Has it always been soft or kind of harder It's always before? been pretty much soft. Yeah, it's pretty soft. What I would do, though, is I'm going to try to remove it along the edge here so that like when we pull it closed, that, it, the, that the scar line is right along your hairline as much as we can. Okay. But I don't know. It could be a lipoma. It could be a cyst. I can't say for sure. So we'll figure it out, okay. I think, OK? Mm -hmm. I'm going to get myself all prepared for this, all right? Okay. And I will see you in a little bit. All right. Okay? Sounds good. Thank you. I'm definitely happy that Dr. Lee could remove it, possibly, but uh, I hate needles. I've always had a fear about needles my whole entire life. I don't know why. It's just a pet peeve. So I'm going to put a little baby pinch here, OK? Mm -hmm. I hate needles, but I'm willing to conquer that fear to get this bump removed. Sometimes you just feel a little pinch just like that. Nothing should be worse than that, really. I mean, now and my son, he's the same way. Like, if he sees oh, blood, really? oh my god, he flips oh. out. You're doing awesome. This is the worst of it, OK? So if you can handle this, that's all good. I'm getting ready to make an incision, and I'm really pretty concerned that Corey has hit this multiple times with books, because that can really cause some problems here and make this more difficult for me to remove. There can be scarring here, really thickened tissue, and it could be a big mess in there. You're going to do just great. I know it. All right, so I don't know if this is like a liquidy cyst, so I'm going pretty. Superficial, because it could get me. Yeah, this is like an eye out on top of your head here. Mm-hmm. That can't be that fun. It's definitely annoying. Yeah. 
It looks like Corey has a cyst. So in this case, I'm gonna puncture the cyst sac wall, squeeze out the contents, and really be able to pull that sac wall out and check the bottom of it, make sure it's not stuck to his skull. I think we got a cyst here. Let me just cover it while I pop it. Okay. We already know how things act. We're like, okay. We only have so many changes in clothes. So you got a cyst up here, a cute cyst. I'm just squeezing it. Mm -hmm. So at least I'm not going to be called no devil worshiper anymore. What? Oh, yeah. Plenty oh. of people said it was that I was a devil worshiper for having it because it, we're in the Bible Belt of North Carolina. Uh -huh. So everybody's like, oh, look at this guy. He's a devil worshiper. And like older people, they were the worst. Oh, I see. So they judged you. Yeah. Really yep. by this. And also just thought you were something that you're absolutely not. Exactly. So. And if you see on the internet now, a lot of people actually get that stuff done, not yeah. me. Yeah, that body mod. Yeah. Let's put a little suture there and then we'll be out of here. Despite the trauma that Corey inflicted on this cyst, it was pretty easy to remove, actually. I was able to squeeze the contents out nicely and remove the sack wall. The scar is going to tuck really nicely in his hairline, and I think he's going to feel really great. And what's the thing look like? I'll show it to you. OK, so when you see it now, I don't want you to be alarmed because it's a little bit sunken in. Yeah, I was figuring that it probably Because it took would. up a space, but it has to fill up. Yeah. And now it has to have meat put back in. Yes, it. yes, meat put back in. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah. OK, let's show you your friend here. OK. This is the stuff that came out of it. I oh, saw so it was like mush. It was cyst. Yeah, it's just wet skin cells smushed together. Oh, wow. Pretty then you could say, that's what came out of my head. No mm -hmm. devil worship. This is it. That that does look kind of like it could be the devil, maybe. Yeah, it does, don't <laughs> it? it looks like I don't know if that's a good argument. Don't show them that. <laughs> so I feel amazing. It feels really, really good. Finally, don't have to wear a hat anymore. Just have to wear this headband for a couple of days. And other than that, everything should be fine. Nice to meet you. And I look forward to no more uh, you know, devil worship or anything. Yeah, okay? th thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you very course. much. Take care, OK? You too. Thank you. It's just as like a whole new start. I want to thank Dr. Lee for all she's done for getting rid of my hats, getting rid of the bump, and uh, helping me out with my devil worshiping horn that I had. My life is going to change tenfold. I'm going to have a better life. Everybody's not going to be staring at me, joking at me. And now I don't have to wear this anymore. It's been a few months since I saw Corey, and his scar has healed up beautifully next to his hairline. He gets out and about without his hat now, and he hasn't been mistaken for a devil worshiper since. 